Now here we have a special request from one computer savvy guy on YouTube and he asked me on my, uh, in response to my video Bank of America call holy crap could you do a tutorial on how to get Boeing's TV to do that I can really figure it out thanks well here I am so let's get started here I already have Boeing's TV all set up and here you have many different options to choose from I normally like to use this one, the BTV News, but you can use many. I click Sports, My Shop, Astra Show, Newsroom, whatever. You can even start fresh, blank, whatever. But for the sake of examining, let's go BTV News. And it's probably going to give me the little pinwheel of death. There it is. Don't know if you can really see that. There it is, Pinwheel of Death. So once this gets loading, we'll be underway. And it, it's a fairly easy process, just as long as you know what piece goes with what. That's the co most confusing part of it all. Really. So and the only bad part is about this is that it takes a little while. There it goes. Okay, so... Here's your main control panel after choosing which template you want. And now, already without even changing anything, this is what it looks like. Obviously, I don't look like her. Let's see, you can control anything from this little eye on Springfield thing on the bottom right here, even to this blue and red background. You can control a lot of it. So, this news flash, that will appear in this little white section on the bottom left. That you can change easily. I'm, I'm, for the sake of example, I'm going to put my website there. CVP colon news flash macfan9000.weebly.com and for the second one, I'm going to put my Twitter, twitter.com slash macfan9000. And if you've got another one, YouTube, youtube.com slash macfan9000. Whoops. Whatever. You did it, all of that in here, and then you can change how fast they switch just by sliding that. And you just you have the ultimate control over everything. This should already be live mandatory. This if the station logo, if you really have got a logo, a personal logo set up, you can go through and right here and tell it to add media and then you can choose you know whatever you want. I don't personally at this time, so I'm not gonna uh, show title that will actually appear see on the bottom left hand where it says I on Springfield you probably can't because I'm there I on Springfield you can change that even and let's change that to tutorial 101 for sake of example digital clock will show in the bottom right you can tell it to bottom right top center wherever now this news crawl you can put in if you have a Twitter you can put in your RSS feed from Twitter in there or if you got a personal blog you can put that in same thing now this is see where it says Patty Bovier live from Boinks TV headquarters in Springfield you can even change that right here in the side area let's put as the title and giving a tutorial for YouTube viewer and that's all I'll change from it 
this, if you had a certain segment or something that you'd like to cleverly add in, you can do something like that. And that's all it does. And then you'd have your media where that A is. I don't really like that. So what I automatically do is I delete that personally. That's right. Now this one gets a little confusing. You have this is the info board. Hello from info board. Now this one's a bit confusing because you do have the option to have it without a background, like how you see right here. This just that and if you had it like that I don't know what I'm doing anymore. see it'll just appear just right there but if you did have a background it would appear like that and one thing that I like to do a little tip see it this is like this in all layers see where it says toggle key if you press that, it'll turn into this. And I usually like to keep it to the spacebar. Press the spacebar. And now, whenever you're recording, see, watch. I'll go into full screen. Say I'm doing a recording. Dun, 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 recording, and I want to show something on the info board that I already have typed. Just simply press the spacebar. Never mind. Yeah. Simply press the space bar, there we go, and your info should show up, given that you've, you know, pre programmed the toggle key correctly. Obviously, I didn't right there. Now, this one is just the whole design and everything, but not, it's not really important, it's just showing that. There's no real way to add anything in there, so I, I wouldn't even worry about that. Now, the anchor. Obviously, this woman, I think, is the default. If you want to be her, sure, go for it. If you don't, and you want yourself to show, here's what I recommend. In the little side here where it says content, go speaker, and you should scroll up to main camera. And since I'm already using it, it's just going to show that. So, and then down here with the geometry, you can control, okay, I don't want it to zoom in as bad, and I want it a little more to the right, and I want it up a little more, position in that corner, and there you go. Then the globe, you can change that out if you like. I don't really touch it. Yeah, and see, here's what I meant. You can change out even those blue and red bars. So your finished product should look like this. Whoops. You know, just some basic. And then whenever you're ready, you know, you hit the record, start recording, you know, start discussing whatever you want in the video. Then at the end, it will play its little Made with Boinks TV video. You don't have to play that before, because it already plays that automatically afterwards. So there's not really a need. Now, if all these aren't, you know, if you want more than what these are, down here in the lower left-hand corner, layers and sources, click that, and you have basically your home look, your dock of stuff to add in. I mean, you can add 3D text, 3D place, uh, daily Bible verses if you're religious, really religious. Multi video, spinning videos, I mean everything. Sources, you can add screen. There's that info board right there. Uh, just everything. Made with Boinks TV. The speaker. Just everything. So, to the YouTube viewer, one computer savvy guy. I hope this helps you out a lot. If you have more questions, feel free to contact me even more.
my site should be scrolling at the top here. Click the Contact Me tab. You'll be in direct contact with me. Hope this helped everyone, and take it easy.